Hi fellow travelers, welcome back to our channel. Are you looking to escape to your own private paradise? Look no further than Koh Samui, Thailand's second largest island after Phuket. With pristine beaches, stunning nature, and a vibrant nightlife scene, Koh Samui has something for everyone. But before you pack your bags, be sure to check out our top 10 tips for the perfect stay on this idyllic island. Tip 1. How to travel to Samui there are multiple ways to travel to Koh Samui. You can fly directly to Koh Samui Airport from major cities in Thailand, such as Bangkok and Chiang Mai, or from international destinations like Singapore, Hong Kong, and Kuala Lumpur. Alternatively, you can book a combined travel package that includes a flight to Suratani, a bus to Don Sak Pier, and a ferry to Koh Samui. This option is usually cheaper. Tip 2. When is the best time to visit Samui? Well, there's no straightforward answer. August to October is the rainy season, which coincides with lower accommodation prices. High season is from late October to May, while May to August is the shoulder season. During Christmas, New Year's, and Chinese New Year, prices are at their highest, but the island is also liveliest. One of the best times to visit is during Songkran, the Thai New Year celebration, from April 13th to April 15th in 2023. Don't miss the chance to experience this festive event on your trip. Tip 3. How long to stay in Samui? While a three to five day stay on Koh Samui can be satisfying, it's worth considering extending your trip to include a visit to nearby islands, such as Koh Pangan or Koh Tao. If you sail back to the mainland from Chumpon, you can easily explore both islands and experience more of Thailand's tropical beauty. Tip four, where to stay in Koh Samui. Koh Samui has a wide variety of destinations to choose from, and the best place to stay depends on your preferences. For first-time travelers, I would recommend Cha Wang. Its seven-kilometer long palm-fringed beach, known for its white sands and crystal clear waters, is perfect for swimming and water sports. Cha Wang is also famous for its dynamic nightlife. Start your evening at Ark Bar, Lub D, or The Elephant, and as the night goes on, move inland towards nightclubs such as Hush and Green Mango. Check out our video featuring the best hotels in Chawang here. For families, Lamai is a great choice. It offers a more serene atmosphere and has cool accommodations and hidden gastronomical gems. If you stay in Lamai, you can save on accommodation, which is cheaper than in Chawang, and enjoy great co-working spaces such as Cobb Restaurant, a great value dinner with a moderately chilled vibe, making it perfect for a workstation in Thailand. While many budget travelers prefer to stay in Manam, Boput, or Natom, Lamai or Cha Wang are the perfect destinations for first-time visitors to Koh Samui. Check out our videos about accommodation on Koh Samui in the description below. Tip 5. Top Things to Do in Samui Koh Samui offers a wealth of activities and experiences. Whether you're seeking relaxation or adventure, Koh Samui has something to offer for everyone. Be sure to visit Samui Elephant Spa, where you can interact with elephants while learning about their behavior and habitat. Alternatively, you can embark on the Red Baron Sunset Dinner Cruise to explore the beauty of Koh Samui's coastline. Another option is to experience an off-road adventure riding an ATV with Samui Quad Motor or go on a jet ski safari with Sri Tong Water Sports. For a thrilling nighttime adventure, take a speedboat ride with Mr. Du, boat operator, to Hat Rin to attend the full moon party and return to Koh Samui in the morning on another speedboat. Other things to do on Koh Samui include relaxing at a luxurious spa at Sala Samui, catching a night of Muay Thai at Pech Buncha Boxing Stadium, or getting a tattoo at Sun City Tattoo Samui to always keep your stay in Koh Samui close to your heart. We have another video that provides detailed information on the top things to do in Koh Samui. You can watch it here or find the link in the description. Tip 6. Best Day Trip from Koh Samui? If you're a nature enthusiast, a day trip to Angtong Marine Park is an absolute must. You can enjoy hiking or canoeing while soaking up the stunning natural scenery. For those who love to party, the full moon party on Koh Pangan is an experience you won't forget. With its wild and colorful atmosphere, it's a night to remember. But if you'd like to skip the crowds and save an accommodation, consider taking a night trip to Koh Pangan on a speedboat. The boat usually departs at 10 p.m. and you'll be back in Koh Samui at 6 a.m. the next day for a breathtaking sunrise. Beach lovers, an island hopping tour to Koh Tao is an opportunity you don't want to miss. This destination is a favorite among snorkeling and diving enthusiasts, and the journey by ferry typically takes 90 minutes to 2 hours. Ferry tickets can range from 600 to 850 baht, depending on your preferences. Tip 7. How to move around in Samui Getting around Koh Samui is a breeze. If you know how to ride, renting a motorbike is the most affordable way to explore this idyllic island. 
This way, you can save a ton on private and public transportation costs. Taxis, whether hailed on the street or booked through a ride-sharing app like Grab, cost a minimum of 300 baht per ride. Taking a ride on a Songteo, a shared pickup truck, typically costs 100 baht per trip. It's worth noting that while there are plenty of lovely hiking trails on the island, walking around off the beaches can be challenging due to poor road infrastructure. If you don't have a driver's license or are not comfortable riding a bike, consider booking accommodations situated right on the beach, preferably in Chaweng or Lamai. This way, you can still enjoy the stunning scenery without worrying about transportation. Tip 8. What to eat in Samui Koh Samui is not just about gorgeous beaches and bustling nightlife. It's also a foodie's paradise with a vast range of dining options. With so many choices, it can be tough to decide where to eat. For those seeking local Thai cuisine, the night market in Fisherman's Village is a must-visit. Or check out Chao Wang's Central Festival Food Market or Lamai's Sunday-only Bazaar. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. For a cheap and delicious meal, grab a plate of mouth-watering wonton noodles at one of the many yellow noodle stalls, which cost just 60 baht. If you're in the mood for international cuisine, Fisherman's Village is home to some fantastic French restaurants, such as La Côte de Bouffe, La Payette, Café du Fisherman's, and Red Moon. For healthy eats, visit Greenlight or Beach Coconut Bowls in Fisherman's Village. But Fisherman's Village isn't the only food hub on the island. Cha Wang is a worthy competitor with some incredible Italian pizzerias. Check out Duomo for Samui's best pizza and don't miss the chance to meet its owner, the local legend Luca. Or for something more exotic, try Russian cuisine at Samovar. Tip 9. How much does it cost to travel to Samui? Food. Food prices can feel exorbitant in certain places on Koh Samui, but there are ways to reduce expenses. You can eat out at night markets for 70 baht per bowl of noodles or buy groceries from large supermarkets like Macro or Big C, where prices are generally lower than elsewhere on the island. A meal at a local Thai restaurant will sell you back anywhere from 60 to 200 baht, while a solo dinner at a more upscale establishment can cost you around 800 baht. Nightlife Samui's nightlife scene is vibrant, and there's something for everyone, from beach bars to nightclubs. The cost of drinks and entry fees varies depending on the venue, but on average, expect to spend around 2 to 400 baht per cocktail. Beer prices at places like Arc are fixed at 100 baht per bottle, while water ranges from 30 to 50 baht per bottle. Note that some bars offer steep discounts for first-timers, including mind-blowing happy hour promotions. Accommodations Samui's accommodation prices vary just as much as its food prices. Two to three star hotels average around 20 to 70 USD per night, while four star hotels average around 200 USD per night. A five star luxury resort can cost more than 500 USD per night. Prices also fluctuate a lot during low and peak seasons. Transport Taxis are more expensive, with fares starting from 300 baht per ride, while motorbike rentals cost around 2 to 300 baht per day. Songteos are the most affordable option, with fares fixed at 100 baht per person per ride. If you plan on exploring the island, it's more cost-effective to rent a motorbike or hire a taxi for the day. To sum up, the estimated cost of daily expenses in Samui can vary a lot depending on your choices and preferences. According to BudgetYourTrip.com, you should plan to spend around 1600 baht or 45 USD per day on your vacation on Koh Samui, which is the average daily price based on the expenses of other visitors. Koh Samui tends to be more expensive than other cities in Thailand, so plan your budget carefully. Tip 10. Where to buy souvenirs on Koh Samui Although Cha Wang's Central Festival Plaza offers a wide variety of shopping options, there are also some hidden gems where you can find unique Koh Samui-specific souvenirs. Check out the night market in Fisherman's Village or take a stroll around Cha Wang at night to discover local treasures at every turn. However, keep in mind that certain items may be illegal to take out of Thailand, and it's important to familiarize yourself with the country's restrictions on items like e-cigarettes and vapes, as well as other prohibited substances. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has given you some useful insights and tips for your upcoming trip to Koh Samui. If you have any comments or additional tips, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Remember to plan ahead, stay safe, and have an amazing time on this beautiful island.